Hey guys, Ryan Man here, back with another figure view. Today is on the uh, DC uh, Comics Multiverse um, New 52 Doomsday Wave, uh, Collect and Connect Wave, uh, Batman The Dark Knight Returns, Armored Batman. Oh, this guy at Walmart. Just got quickly here, you can see him figure clearly displayed with all the accessories in the package here. It says DC Comics Universe, uh, DC Comics logo, logo there. It's a picture of the character right there, name. Uh, it's a new Jim's Day. So here has the same um, picture there. So it has a little bio about him. Real name Bruce Wayne, base of operations, Gotham City. After 10 years in retirement, Batman returns to take on the violent mutants plaguing Gotham City. Right here, nothing, nothing going on there. Back here, he's got all the other figures in the way. Armor Batman. Uh, uh, returns for Robin. Um, Lex Luthor. Uh, um, Supergirl, Mutant Leader, and Superman Doomed. And there's the Doomsday figure right there. I'm looking up all the stuff. Anyway, took a quick break and run the package. See if everything comes with and detail articulation of the figure. So here's the number of Batman out of the packaging. And uh, you see here, it's a pretty awesome looking figure. Um, this is one of the better, uh, best favorite parts of that comic series. I'm not a huge fan of that particular story, but I do enjoy the Superman fight and the armored suit. Two of the things I did like there. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool looking figure. Um, glad they're going to a good one. And if you didn't know, you know, they took, it's one of the things they took from, uh, inspiration from for the uh, new movie. Just figured I'd throw that in there. Um, it'd be cool if they actually made a variant of this from the animated movie that they did. But this one's still pretty cool. And I think it would cool next to Superman, which I do not have. Anyway, I'm doing a quick here, getting into the accessories. He's got. First, uh, it's actual accessory that actually plays the hymns. This uh, the night gun, kryptonite gun here. It's not really, uh, not really like detailed or anything. I mean, uh, no like paint apps or anything. Sculpted nice though. Got a little um, marbling right there at the top there. It says China on the back there. Looks pretty cool. Um, and it will fit in one of these hands here. He's sculpted with a uh, fist for one hand and the other. Is the one for the gun, and it will act, it will sit in there okay. Not uh, not as secure as like maybe you'd like it to be, but it will sit in there um, decent enough once you actually get it sitting in there. Um, he's got kind of got to get his hand around the trigger figure, which there you go, something like that. I don't, I don't intend, I actually don't plan to have him displayed with it, personally, but you can do that. Um, and he also comes with the build, uh, collect and connect, I always get these there, um, collect and connect pieces for the new video today. He comes with the, uh, new 52 Tuesday. Um, he comes with the head and lower torso. You see that there? Pretty cool. I don't plan to need the whole figure, but pretty cool. Not a bad head sculpt there. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's get into the actual figure himself now. Uh -huh. Sculpting wise, I think he looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm not usually a fan of the gritting teeth. Um, facial expressions but it suits this one fine um, that's what he looks like in the comic there looks pretty pretty spot on there um, not crazy detailed with like paint apps or anything here but it's pretty cool um, this chest pe uh, piece right here chest part is actually soft more rubbery here there's actually it's it's actually over the actual chest there looks pretty cool it's kinda squishy um, you see that's mostly gray Blues in there, washed in. He's got a nice yellow uh, toady belt there. Um, see that there? Nice boots here. Everything sculpted pretty cool. Um, no, like I said, no paint apps much, but the sculpting is nice. Uh, got a big blue cape here. It's a little pliable. Um, it just looks like it's connected here to the back there. I prefer cloth capes. But I've gone used to them not going that route. 
but you know it's not too bad and uh yeah it looks pretty nice anyways uh it looks pretty nice other than that um let's get into the actual articulation that's pretty articulation here his head doesn't really go up and uh, i goes down a little bit a little bit side to side this little collar is kind of in the way there and a little bit of a pivot in there arm swivel 360 he's got a uh mid swivel right there uh single jointed elbows and his wrist swivel 360 Mm, kind of hinge down. Um, there is an ab crunch in here. He goes back that far. He goes for it that much. Waist swivel. Legs go out that far. He doesn't have the usual DC, uh, UC gaping crotch pits though. Um, goes for it that much. Back that much. He's got a uh, mid uh, swivel there. Um, he's got a single jointed knee. Um, Boot, sw boot cut swivel and it goes go down a little bit more up actually more down I mean not really up and uh, no ankle pivot and pick holes on the bottom feet and nice uh, cleats on the bottom there pretty cool so I guess pretty good articulation so for a DC uh, comics multiverse figure um, Batman here stands a little bit over uh, six and a half actually Probably about almost seven inches. He's kind of a bulky figure here. Yeah, top of his ear is about seven inches. But uh, let's get some size comparisons. So here he is next to the C multiverse. Uh, this is comics multiverse Suicide Squad. Uh, ben Affleck Batman. You see here, I'm wearing Batman is taller. Um, cool. Um, and you haven't checked on. Uh, I'm going actually. I'm going to uh, review him once I actually get my. I'm getting the. Mayfax armored Batman from the moot for the Batman v Superman. So I will compare these two when that comes in. Um, and if you haven't checked out my review on the Suicide Squad uh, Batman, please check them out. And here he is next to my Hot Toys Batman Returns Michael Keaton Batman. Uh, Batman Returns Michael Keaton Batman. Um, you know, he's a lot shorter than him. It would have been really cool seeing you know like him keaton in an armored suit like that that would have been really cool but you know not to be sadly um anyway and here he is next to the comique batman returns from show piper catwoman hot toys x-men days of future past Hugh jackman wolverine tornami ryoko such a collectibles star wars order of the jedi return of the jedi jedi knight Luke skywalker real toys raven vince price um such a collectibles max shrek no spark to Sancho Collectibles, Bayo Ghosty Dracula, and Sancho Collectibles, um, Super Screen Printer and Alpha. You can see he's shorter than all these, so he will not fit in your Sideshow or Hot Toys display. And here he is next to my Sancho Collectibles, Star Wars, Lord of the Sith, Clone Wars, Saj Ventress, Sancho Collectibles, Star Wars, uh, Heroes of the, uh, Republic, Kings and Villains, Clone Wars, uh, um, Snowsuit, uh, Snowsuit Bunny Suit, uh, Pamela Adawa, Sancho Collectibles, Star Wars, Order of the Jedi, uh, Revenge of the Sith, Anakin Skywalker, such a collectible Star Wars, uh, Lord of the Jedi, Clone Wars, Commander, Obi-Wan Kenobi with the Sancho Collectible Star Wars, Order of the Jedi, Revenge of the Sith, and McGregor, Obi-Wan Hensculpt, Sancho Collectibles, Order of the Jedi, Qui-Gon Jinn, uh, Sancho Collectibles, Lord of the Rings, Lego Screenleaf, and Sancho Collectibles, Army of the Ash Figures, you can see he's shorter than all these, so he will not fit in your Sideshow, uh, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, or Army of the so here he is next to my Star Wars Episode 1, um, Famous Panamanian Dolls, you can see Armored Batman is taller. And finally, for a Marvel Legends comparison, here he is next to my Marvel Legends, Rock and Roll for the Week, Scarlet Spiders, you can see Armored Batman is taller. So all in all, I think this is a really cool figure, um, possibility is a little bit limited because of the, uh, bulkiness of the suit there, but still looks pretty nice, and I mean, you know what to expect for the most part for these multiverse figures, um, and... Um, I think it's a great figure, especially if you've been collecting the Dark Knight Returns uh, figures. You definitely probably want to get this one. Put it in a uh, combat uh, display with the Superman. Um, and, you know, definitely if you're a fan of Batman in general, you probably would like this one. It is a uh, classic take on him. You know, you like the story or not. I do, like I said, I do enjoy the different Batman costume, and you could probably use this for a, um, for a Batcave uh, display as well. Um, 
And if you're collecting the uh, New 52 Doomsday, you definitely need to get this one for the uh, Hidden the Bow of Torso. And like I said, I think it's a pretty good figure. It's the only one I wanted in this way. But uh, I definitely recommend it if you're a Batman fan. Anyway, this is my quick review on the DC Comics Multiverse New 52 uh, Doomsday Collecting Connect Wave. Batman's Dark Knight Returns Armored Batman figure. Hope you like it. Hope you hope, hope you did. Please hit the like button, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. Definitely appreciate it. Follow me on Twitter, right in the main. As always, my Facebook profile is in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.